pray? Yes. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you so much to the Lord for your blessing. Uh, allow us to gather here today, dear Lord, to bring you glory, dear Lord, to edify one another. We pray, dear Father, that you open the mind of the teacher to bring to his remembrance your teachings to him, that he may share them with us, to edify us, dear Lord, that we may grow, to bring you glory in all that we do in our lives, to be a light. These things we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. 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 John chapter 15. <laughs> John chapter 15. Um, you remember last week, uh, trying to understand, it was when Jesus lived in an agrarian age, which was the age of agriculture and so forth. This is why he talks, uh, many of his parables come from the farm, from the vine, and so forth. He taught for what people knew and what they could observe. Uh, if you have been born in the rural area, you know about grape vines. I was fortunate I was born in North Carolina. We had a grape vine right in our backyard. And we used to go out and pick grapes off the vine and just eat them. I'm not even thinking about it. you have to wash them. You shouldn't wash them. And as a child, you don't think about that. We used to have pear trees, fig trees. I'd go out and pick a fig off and start eating it. Those are the things we uh, kind of miss being in the city. Because in the city, you have all concrete and blacktop. We have some rural areas that are outside, yeah. But uh, these things uh, we can observe. Of course, uh, you can go into a produce department in yeah. a supermarket, and you can get, uh, if you like grapes, you can get a log of grapes, right, Brother Thomas? Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to find those grapes you gave me for work. You can find them. But it's a special grape. It's got a special taste. I haven't been able to find that grape. But, you know, it, it comes on a branch, right? That branch was cut from the true vine. Amen? You ever bought it? You ever bought those grapes on the branch? Pull the branch up after you wash it. <laughs> Pull it off and eat. You get various kinds. You get the black grape, the green grape, <laughs> the purple grape. <clears throat> but you could do that. You remember, you can see it in your mind, right? Well, uh, that branch, if those grape song was taken from the true vine, if you leave that branch long enough and you don't uh, eat the grapes off, what would happen to the grapes? It will spoil, dry up, right? Well, Jesus is trying to get us as human beings to see that if we don't abide in him, we'll dry up too. Yes. Well, that's what the text says. Listen to it. He says in verse 1, I am the true vine, my father is the vine dresser. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Yeah. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, mm -hmm. he takes away. Yeah. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Now he says, here's a crucial verse. He says, you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. See, the word of God is very important. You and I are cleansed through the word. You and I cannot be what we ought to be without the word. The word is all important. If you look at the Old Testament. The Old Testament, Psalms 119. All of that song is exhorting the word of God. Amen. If we were given us it, talks about the Word of God. He used various sorry, uh, words. Sometimes I talk about the law of God, the commands of God, the statutes, all the Word of God. Amen. So the Word of God is all important. But we must get the Word into our what? We must get it into our hearts. The Bible talks about our mind. Mm -hmm. Very important. 
Very important view. You remember the school days? They want us to memorize mm -hmm. and, and what is that, recite? Yeah. Now, I've, did, I've been that, right? Yeah. Childhood, we're quoting I'm things right. you didn't understand what I was quoting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You used to have Children's Day when I was coming along. And Children's Day, you got a recitation of a Bible verse, you know. For God so loved the world that he gave his only to God, whoever believed. Uh huh, right. I didn't right. know what I was, I was saying, something, but I didn't understand. Like the spelling bee. I didn't oh, understand. Yeah, it. it was memorized. I was memorizing. <laughs> well, if it comes on into adulthood, it's, it's, it's even, it, well, it's worse than adulthood because uh, uh, many folk, you hear them boasting, I know the Bible from Genesis to mm -hmm. Revelation. Yes. <laughs> Too much boasting. <laughs> Too much boasting. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is, in, is it in our hearts? Mm -hmm. Because if the Word of God gets into our hearts and minds, what does it do for us? It brings about a change. That's right. We talk about change, right? <laughs> it brings about change. Where does it change us? It's a word for that. It changes us where? Well, in our hearts, but what is it called? Our soul. Oh, it changed our behavior, yes. I guess I got a skull right, right? Mm -hmm. It changed our behavior. Oh, shoot. Now the behavior is that what we see, that which, what we can observe, okay? What's in the heart, but we can't observe that. And Jesus knew that, he told it. From the abundance of the heart, watch what's in the heart of man. How do we know what's in the heart of man? Our the, the language God that they the, speak. The language. Right. From the abundance of our heart, the mouth speaks. That's right. I can know what is what in every man or woman's heart if they talk. Uh, every man? It's, 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 it's unique, but the teaching of Jesus is not difficult. But let's get uh, into this fruit. Uh, Jesus said to hear very, very clearly, he says, abide in me. <clears throat> that word abide means to stay. Mm -hmm. Stay. It's a permanent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got me here. Oh, well. Somebody's calling me. Should be in Sunday school. Yeah. You <laughs> said that. It should be in Sunday school. Really? Well, yeah. yeah. I'm here. They're disturbing me in Sunday school. Word is in your heart, you know what's going on. It's time to go. <laughs> but it should. It could, it could be something. It could be a mug. Yeah, right. right. I just want to put it out there. So okay. Right, that's right. <laughs> All right. Abide in me. It means a permanent state. It's like we abide where? Where do we abide? We are different abiding places. In Christ. It's true, but I mean physically. Oh, okay. At home. At home. Yeah. At work. At work. But we really abide at home, right? At school. Yeah. We go to work, come back home, right? Oh, okay. Leave home and go elsewhere, come back home. That's our abiding place, right? Okay. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Amen. So here, spiritually, Jesus said, abide in me. And that, look at this other part. And I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, that's true. You take the branch from the true vine, right? Yeah. Unless it abides in the vine. So you see the connection? Mm -hmm. The branch has to abide in the vine to produce fruit. Neither can you unless you abide in me. That's, that's crucial here. Mm -hmm. Understand it spiritually. For us to live spiritually, we must abide in Christ. Amen. Amen. So, abiding in Christ. <clears throat> How is it that we abide in Christ? What is the word? <clears throat> what is the word abiding in Christ? Excuse me. Let me yeah. 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 Yeah.
Body in Christ, what is the word? How do we body Christ? I remember. The Lord is faith. The Lord is word. The Lord is faith. The Lord is faith. You can't abide in the other way. No, you got to He's not here physically. Right. I can't shake hands with Christ. No. I can't talk with him physically. Right. It has to be by faith. Right. Now, this is a great biblical principle. This is a great biblical principle. Keep it in mind. The just or the righteous shall live by. Faith. 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 Right. That's why that's why it's a great principle. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with spiritual, dealing with God and with the Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, you can't live any other way. You got to live by faith. 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 Right. What about you? you can't see with your physical eyes. You can't touch with your physical hands. Can't. That's right. So it has to be by faith. faith. Listen. Hebrews eleven six. Without faith. <clears throat> It's impossible to please God. He that comes to God must what? Come with spirit and the truth. Here's, here's the action. Must believe. Believe. Okay. It just, this is a noun. It's an idea. So forth. So forth. Right? But it has to become action. So the faith that we hold must become action. God is, the Bible says, but I have to believe it. If I don't believe it. I don't believe it doesn't do me any good. Christ is, but you you and I haven't shook shaken hands with him. No. But the Bible gives testimony mm -hmm. to those who, has, who did see him. Oh, yeah. Right? Either we accept the testimony or we reject it. Brother Matthew, yes. I like that, that, that without faith it's impossible it's to impossible. please God because it let me know what my purpose is, yes. right. is to please God right. in everything I do. That's, That's right. revelation. Mm -hmm. Everything you and I do, we please God. We please God. That's the aim. If you please God, you have both commandments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, first commandment, before we can live among each other, is the second commandment. We have to have the first commandment. So we have to believe God first and God. His Son, Jesus Christ. Because they give you and me instruction how to live among each other. That's right. Amen. Amen. How do I know how? Uh, let's see this. How do I know how to live as a man? I have to know. I have to seek out instruction from the man. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the man is Jesus Christ. Hey, Brother Matthew, you are the man. I said, no, 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 I'm a man among men. I'm not the man. Right. The man is Jesus Christ. That's right. We all learn from him. You have to learn that, yeah. There's a lot of religious stuff going up there. And it sounds good, but it's not good. No. No. Yeah, we believe. That's why we can we become men of God, because we believe. Yes. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Right. And the reason for that, the Bible says, no man has seen God at any time. Right? right? No man. That's a testament. No man has seen God at any time. But the only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him because He became flesh and dwelt among us. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible, the Bible is all right. Oh, yes. Whew. The reason it doesn't seem to be already because of the handling of men and women. Yeah, yeah. But it's a very, 
it's, it's very down to earth if we really, you have to think. You have to really think. All right. Now, in this passage, Jesus talks about fruit. You notice? He says, I am, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Or without me, you can do nothing. Mm -hmm. That verse, without me, you can do nothing. That tells me that I am not an independent creature. I am a dependent creature. Right. Now we have to get that mindset because in our world today, we're taught from, from childhood to become what? Independent. That's in our mind. Independent. Independence. But the Bible teaches us spiritually we are dependent. Jesus said, without me, this is spiritual, without me, you can do nothing. But yet, he talks about fruit. Well, this fruit he's talking about must be spiritual fruit. Yes. Right? Let me read this. Spiritual fruit. Now, you and I can't produce spiritual fruit. No. We can produce wax fruit. Right, yeah. Arts and crafts, uh -huh. right? Produce wax fruit. Go to art, arts and crafts, I can get material, I can make some fruit. apples, oranges, and all that. Just wax, mm -hmm. and that's all we can produce. Mm -hmm. We can't produce any spiritual fruit in ourselves, okay? Impossible. That's why the Bible talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Let's put the other word. Fruit of what? Of the Spirit. Yeah. Of the fruit of the Spirit. What is that telling us? Right. What is that telling me? That the fruit comes oh, yeah, from the Spirit. Right. From the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Of the spirit. Right. See? Fruit. Of the spirit. Fruit of the spirit. So that means that I can't produce any spiritual fruit on my own. It's impossible. Right. Jesus said, without me, you can't, you can't, do, nothing. You can't do nothing. Right. You, I don't mean to interrupt you, but from your lesson, I'm coming. When I left here yesterday with the class at the house, they was talking about no one can be perfect. I said, if you're saying that, you're rejecting what the Bible said. I had to take up to Galatians, what you just read there right there, chapter 5, where it says, you know, start at 17, if you do all these things, being a drunker and, and revel and uh, uh, murder, drunken and all that, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. But now get out of 22, he said, the fruit of the Spirit. That's where we're going. Right there. That's why I had to take them to it. And when you live at the fruit of the Spirit, then you can understand perfect. Then I turn them back to Matthew chapter 5, where it said, uh, 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 be perfect. As I father in heaven is perfect. Then they understood it. They have to be careful on that. I'm talking about perfection. No man is perfect, you know. That's what they say. Well, yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. Well, when they say that, I said, what do you mean? Right. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Don't mm -hmm. get involved in philosophical speculation. Right, right, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. You said it. Right, yeah, you said it. Yeah. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. To shut the mouths up or keep it going more. Right, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Don't get involved in that philosophical speculation. Yeah. Well, like I told him, uh, you would well, never become perfect for the world, sir. Well, the, the Bible tells you, be perfect. That's right. right. Yeah, it but it shows you what that perfect, perfect is. is. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to get into that. Yeah. Of the Spirit. Right. Spirit of the Spirit. We want fruit of the Spirit. Of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Fruit of, of the Spirit. Since you and I can do nothing spiritually in and of ourselves, mm -hmm. then that fruit must be produced in us yes. and through us. That's right. Well, well Let's see how it works if this is spiritual fruit. In Galatians 5, 22, Brother uh, 
Randolph is already. This relation is five twenty two says what? We almost got that from memory, right? But the fruit of the spirit, the love of joy, peace, long suffering, gentle, goodness, faith. No doubt for the meekness, temple. Against us is no law. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. If you, if you, want that, you, have to and you and I can't produce any of it in and ours. Can't produce none of it. Can't get it. Because it starts there. Uh, if we are reading properly, mm -hmm. in verse 22, it says what? Mm -hmm. Again, verse 22 says, uh, but the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. See, we have to get some spiritual fruit. Right. This is a fruit of the Spirit. And uh, we need to understand that we can't produce it because it's of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've got a problem right there. We can't produce it. But what did God do for us even at the beginning of our spiritual walk? What did he do? What did he do for us at the beginning? He gave us the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's what he did. Right. Yeah. I did a preaching of the gospel. You don't know, hear this. Holy Spirit mentioned, but you know, like somebody got, you got to do it, you got to struggle. Yeah. I think that's why some professing Christian in and out, up and down. Um, some, I'm not trying to do it. Uh -huh. And you fail. Can't do it. <laughs> we live by faith. Yeah, we have to allow the Holy Spirit to operate. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Our weakness. See, the Bible says you can quench the Spirit. Yes, right. indeed. Yeah. Quench it, grieve it, quench all it. That you know what quench it means, right? Yes. Make it sad. Make Just it to hurt. Just put it out. Put, put it out. Kill it. Put, quench put it. it. Put it out. Uh -huh. You and I can do that. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is given to us, but uh, if we don't allow Him to work in us through the Word, to grow, right? right. Then we quench it. Quench. Mm -hmm. That can be done. The Bible says it. Quench not the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Brother Matthew, yes. I just want to say that from that Galatians 5:22, what people need to know is where uh, joy and peace is. They try to find joy and peace Everything. in people and things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the world does. That's yeah. what the world does. The world right. yeah. peace in material things. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's the world. The folk go down. Yep. I call them dust collectors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think about it, it's dust collectors. Yes. We are blessed, brother, mm -hmm. to know God's Word, the Bible, what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. What we should do to satisfy Him, mm -hmm. not to satisfy what we're feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We see people all the time, and I told the fella Friday, I was on the bus, sometimes I just have to speak out, he was talking, and I said, look, well, I know it's none of my business, I got to say something. What do you want to say? He said, what you're saying is wrong. He said, number one. You told him that? You're wrong. You told, you told him that? Did you tell him that? Yeah. But you said it's wrong. You're talking about the fact that I cuss people out. I, I, I was in the hospital, I got to go down to this hospital, and I cussed them out in there, and they don't like me, and this and that and the other. But they said something to me that we're going to talk. I, I was trying to say something, the nurse trying to tell me something. I said, look, I'm talking. She said, well, I'm I said, you can't talk to me that way. I said, look, you don't have the spirit of God to help you through these things. I said, you are angry because you don't, you can't produce peace in yourself. You need God. He told me, he said, look, I had cancer. I had the ulcer and I got cancer and everything. And I, they told me the cancer is gone with the nurse told me, I'm going to give you a lot of your prescriptions so you have to come back here again. You know, and he didn't understand that. I said, you, you're wrong. You have to come to the Church of Christ and hear what God has to say, oh, not my. what you feel. Did you get an argument? He was angry, but, but did you? Yes, I was peaceful. I was okay. peaceful. I was telling you what God said, not me. I'm not judging you. Amen. I'm telling you what God said. Okay. And, uh, All right. You can go to any, anything, any time, any place. You don't have to be in a special building. You don't have to face a special way to talk to God. If for anything. Mm -hmm. And that's All right. what you, you have to believe, believe in and rely mm -hmm. on, not in yourself. Okay. As we abide in Christ. That's right. Yeah. Yes. It's very 
in that statement, as we abide in Christ. What happens? Like this spiritual fruit. As we abide in Christ, spiritual fruit develops in our life. That's right. Now, when you look, go back to the grapes and the grapevine, the branch. Those grapes on the branch, before they were cut from the vine, what, what had to happen? The process. You and I take the branch and we enjoy the grapes. What, what was the process? Somebody had to plant a seed and what to grow. What was the process of the branch to the vine? It was alive to see. It had to nurture. Yeah, it it had to bring the food. The nurture. Nourishment. It had to stay there in the vine mm -hmm. yeah. and develop. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. The branch stayed in the true vine mm -hmm. and developed. Yes, right. yes. yes. Developed. All yes. the nutrition that it needs came from the vine. That's right. right. It got and it developed. Right. It's your development. Right. You and I. Right here this morning. Are developing. Are developing. Yes. Right. Yes, sir. I like developing. Right. But some have already matured. Mm. So they think. Yeah, I'm glad you said that too. <laughs> so they okay. think that's what so they think. Think. That's right. You wonder why I call spiritual Get on the that, Yeah. Get on yeah. to understand the process. That's right. The process right. of spiritual Sanctified. Of spirituality Sanctified. is sanctification. Yes. And sanctification is a process. It's ongoing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Developing. It's not like going to school, huh? You get to a point and they say, okay, you know enough. You, know, you can, you can right. go on. You're right. They That's give you a right. degree. Not with sanctification. No. Yeah. It's your whole life. Whole life. Every yes. breath. Every breath. Yes. It's a process. See, we, if we right. don't get it in our mind, we think we have a right. Yes. Yeah. yes. And that's what causes a whole lot of problems with Individuals to go, I'm, I'm mature, you're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm mercy. I've be been at it a long time. I've been at it a long all time. All my life. 45 years. That's yeah. right. I've been studying this yeah. word of God. Lord, I'm <laughs> but the worst thing, Brother Matthews, mm -hmm. is that if one of the 45 years want to look down at somebody that just got baptized, yes. they may be more spiritual than the 45 year they person. believe sure. it. And that's word. Sure. That's scripture. That's scripture. <laughs> That's right, the first. So, <laughs> the so first the Lord didn't call us. So right. what you have to understand is sanctification. The Lord didn't call you and me to be judges. No. He didn't call us for that. No. Nope. He's the judge. Christ is the really the, is the judge, but uh, somehow in human beings, something about human beings, human nature. <laughs> human nature is, that's what God has to deal with, but he created us that way, so mm -hmm. uh, human nature is something else. That's why we have all the problems in the world. We have problems in the world. We have problems in the church. Mm -hmm. Human nature. I don't believe human nature is something. But what is God doing? First of all, He is the act of God. It was God who justified us, declared us righteous. He declared us righteous. He didn't make us righteous. He declared us righteous mm -hmm. through faith in His Son. That's right. As different than declaration. And made. He didn't make us righteous, he declared us righteous. Now, to be made righteous is a process, a sanctification. And it's all gone. That's a yes. And he, he, he gave you and me the ability by faith to do that. If we don't abide in him, then the fruit can't be produced. That's right, cut our suffering. He commands you, Ab see? abide in me, and I in you. I'm kind of like a command, a body, me and I and you. That's something you have to do. And the way we do that is by faith. That's why I said, now God justifies us, right? Right? Mm -hmm. He declares us righteous. Yes. Then again, the Bible said, the just shall live by faith. faith. Those he declared righteous shall live by faith. But how does faith come? That's right. So then faith word. comes by hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Here in the Word of God, what do we do with the Word of God? We abide in it. Right. Yes. Abide in it. Yes. And the Holy Spirit 
As we abide in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit abiding in us, it's the Holy Spirit at The Bible teaches you to think. Did you lose your pen? <laughs> and Brother Matthews, yes. the, 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 the fruit um, uh, that we produce and the gifts that we're given is for uh, the benefit of all. Thank Not you. for us to just sit and keep it to ourselves. Yeah. It's to share sure. and esteem others and help each sure. other uh, right. to grow. How to grow. How to grow. And you know, what we're growing at is grace. The Bible teaches that. The Bible says, grow in grow grace, grace and. Grace and mercy. Grow in grace and. <laughs> I'm quoting 1 Peter 3.18, I believe. Grace. <laughs> we missed some things, you know, in the reading. At the end, it's always taught as a coordinating conjunction that turns to. Two thoughts of equal rank. First Peter, what, Brother Matthew? Mm -hmm. Either First Peter 3.18 or 2 Peter 3.18, one or the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not there at all. Maybe I've got some. No, it's there. It Se is. Second Peter 3.18. Okay. Second Peter but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Do you hear what it's saying? Oh, no. To him be glory both now and forever. Do you hear what it's saying? Yes. Grow. Grace Let's take it apart. First of all, he says, grow in the grace of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Then it says, grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So he spoke of Jesus Christ. Now, now when you think about grace, the word grace, sometimes we think about uh, what a person is doing in sports. Uh, Let's take ice skating. I think all skating was always... <laughs> you know, I try to get some roller skates. And, yeah, I used to roll, try to roller skate. Okay. One foot going this way, yeah. and one going that way. Mm -hmm. And I straight, try to straighten up my fall. Mm -hmm. My wife could roller skate. She could do it with grace. Just go all around. My son could do it, right? I got on a pair. <laughs> Too stiff. <laughs> oh, sure. Right? I was not graceful. My son and my wife, we were so graceful. What about ice skating? You ever tried ice skating? I watch it. See, see the one who so graceful come around? Yes. To go in the figure eight, mm -hmm. come out. He said, wow! <laughs> Somebody come, come around, you try to do it, boom! Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Folks look at it and they laugh about it, right? Mm -hmm. It's certain we were graceful. When one has the grace of Jesus Christ, the grow in the grace of Jesus Christ, and sanctification is a growth. We're continually growing in the grace of Jesus Christ. What it means that you and I have been called to become Christ-like. That's what Christian means. I'm a Christian. It means I belong to Christ. So therefore, as, what did Christ say? Follow me. Mm -hmm. So we have to watch how he lives. Right. We have an inscription, right? Mm -hmm. so how did Jesus live among human beings? But well, when he taught his disciples, he says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. Jesus, how is it that all men will know your disciples? By having love one for the other. Love one for the other. Now when we come to the world's view of love, the world's view of love is different from the biblical view of love. The biblical view of love means that you have to look and observe the love of God. God loved you and me while we were yet sinners. That's the Bible teaching. Not while we was becoming righteous, but he loved us while we were yet sinners. And the Bible teaches that? That's right. In Romans 5. It teaches about grace. 
this says about grace. It says, where sin abound, we were sinners. We were sinners. Where sin abound, grace did much more abound. That's telling us something. Where sin abound, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Where sin abound, grace did much more abound. That's something to think about. So, what happened in the Old Testament times, there were some who twisted the idea. They twisted the idea of grace. They heard when sin, where sin abound, I mean, sin is all, grace did much more abound. They, guess what they said? Well, let us continue to sin so that grace. <laughs> Really. Looking for a loophole, right? Yes, yes they're trying to put a loophole there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Doing the same thing today. Wow. In the 21st century, some are doing the same wow. thing. So they're twisting grace. Jude teaches that. Last year's theme was uh, in Jude, in Jude, Jude 1. It talks about some that taking the grace of God and twisting it. That's what they're doing in 21st century. Whenever you see a, a Christian, those who are professing Christian, been baptized into Christ, uh, and they should be following sanctification, and they are still there working, at, walking in the flesh, what, what, what are they doing? They think if they heard and understood the gospel, what are they doing? Taking advantage of God's grace. They take, yeah, the twisting grace. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that. Which is a disadvantage. All of our behavioral problems within the church is, is some who twist in grace. Mm -hmm. We have to grow in the grace of Christ, not to twist it and make it say what it's not saying. Christ, in his grace, he, he did, he always did that. He always did what pleased the Father. Always, he said. Always do that. And the Father spoke. Mm -hmm. This is my beloved. beloved son in whom I'm well, well pleased. That's what he said, right? That's right. That's right. Written. So when we live in the grace of Jesus Christ, we become pleasing to the Father. Mm -hmm. The Father loved his son. And his son, his son, the spirit of his son is manifested in our lives. That's what it means to abide and walk the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. It means that we need help. Right. And that help is given us, given to us in the spirit of the, that is, see the spirit of Christ is what's given to us. And, and remember, all that's done at our baptism, the spirit is given. Everything that was necessary for us to be a spiritual man or woman was given to us at our birth. That's right. Let's take it physically. Everything that you and I needed to be for man to become a physical male man was given to us at our birth. Mm -hmm. Everything that uh, uh, physically was given to you to become a woman was given to you at, at your birth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. So now the second birth. But what happened, we had, the male had to mature into manhood. A baby girl had to mature into womanhood. Right? You can observe it. <laughs> That's something you can observe. When a male comes into the world as a baby, if you don't give him a name, you say, it's a baby boy. Unless you give a name to the female, it's a baby girl. That's all you know. Then that baby boy and baby girl have to be given a name. Right? Mm -hmm. For identification. Right. Well, even in the spiritual, there's identification mark upon the spiritual. Since God give us what we, what we ought to become spiritually at our spiritual birth, everything we need. But we have to grow into maturity. We've got to mature it. See? All right? Growing grace. Okay. We have, we're talking about spiritual fruit. Okay, growing grace. 
Well, in this spiritual fruit, look at it. Look at verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit, watch it now. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Why well, it starts with it starts with love. Why? Because if it's the fruit of the Spirit comes from God through Jesus Christ, then God is love. He is love. But again, in this world, love in this world, uh, it's, it's amazing about the world and our word, L-O-V-E. We make it L-O-V-E say, put anything we wanted to say. I love my whatever. Use the material things. I love my this and I love my this and I love my. It's all material. But in the love that comes through grace is a love, I think I've already said it, said it again. Romans 5, he is the love of God. The love of God is that he's shown while we were yet sinners. Now think about that. The Bible says the wages of sin, Death. that's what should happen to us. But God in his love, his life, gave us life instead of death. Yes. Mm -hmm. Life instead of death. That's what he did. That's why the grace of God is shown on sinners. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Why did Christ die for us? Because God loved us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should, watch it, should not perish, should have everlasting life. Now, many hear that and say, shall not perish. No, that's not what the Bible says. Should not. Should. It's put in this subjunctive mood. Mm -hmm. It's based on something that's else. It's important. English grammar is important. Subjunctive mm -hmm. mood means it's a mood of what? Possibility. Mm -hmm. A person may or may not that's right. believe Matthew, the message. I, I, I like to uh, see the benefits. Amen. And, and go back to Matthew, I mean, John 15. It's verse 7, it says, If ye abide if. in me, and my word abide in you, mm -hmm. ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Right. So it's if. The if is up to us. Conditional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it's Conditional. If we do That's everything he says to. Conditional particle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. If. People have to remember that if. That if is so important. That's right. If you abide. Yeah, if. Mm -hmm. If you do not. That's, that's, right. that's negated. If that's you right. do not abide in me, ye shall not. Inherit the kingdom of God. We call it the converse is also true. <laughs> See, we, 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 if you and I hear the word and abide in it, oh, what fruit. Uh -huh. Comes forth. Mm -hmm. But where the problems come forth is in the if. Mm -hmm. If you abide in my mm -hmm. word, if then, that's an if then statement, right? Yes. If you abide, then. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you abide not, mm -hmm. then. Yeah. <laughs> Both ways. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Christian faith is not really difficult to understand. No. No. All you have to do is just stand still yeah. and listen to the Lord if we can. And since it's in our language, then there's something about our language. Uh, that's why we're taught grammar in, in school. You remember taught grammar? It's all that stuff. I don't know where you said it. I did. Well, I don't need it. But, I'm gonna, but I find out I need it. I use it. If. That's the if-then statement. Mm -hmm. If you abide in my love. If you abide in me and I, and I abide in you, something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. If you don't abide in me and my word doesn't abide in you, then something's Something going to happen. Gonna happen. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> you don't have to fuss, you don't have to groom. No. All you have to do, living among people, this observed behavior, mm -hmm. they're going to tell you. What they are. Mm -hmm. And if you're around long enough, I'm going to tell you who they are. 
You don't have to say anything. Just observe behavior. It's probably so important. Brother Matthews. Yes. I, I, somebody said some years ago that you learn more by listening than talking. You do. <laughs> That's why I want to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> now when I'm preaching, I open it wide. Uh, yeah. Usually, I, mean, I just want to listen. listen. <laughs> but I never know unless I listen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's important. Yeah. Brother Matthew, you ought to say this. Lord have mercy. Wait a minute. If I have said that. I might have got it wrong. I know I would have. <laughs> I would have got it wrong every time. But let me listen first. Right. I respond after I listen. Oh, oh well. You can't fill up a container at the same time you're pouring it out. Huh? You cannot fill up a container when you pour it out. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You got a hole in it. <laughs> Unless it has a hole in it. No, if it got a hole in it. If it got a hole in it. I don't feel it up if you study right now. That's right. Careful. All these notions, if you get the right notion, make the right move. <laughs> get the wrong notion, you make the wrong move. You really have to realize this. It's something within us, human beings, in you and me. Quick! Mm -hmm. Stop. Mm -hmm. I think it was the point. He said, Stand still mm -hmm. and know I am the Lord. Yeah. Yes, that's my cup. <laughs> that's the message of my cup. Stand no, still. Do it now, do it! When he made man. All right, so much. Yeah. You want to throw her? Grace. Mm -hmm. Our Lord Jesus Christ. And growing in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, what is produced through you and me? Love, love joy, joy, peace, peace, long suffering, long suffering, goodness. Oh, I might do that. Now here's a good, here. Oh my goodness! You don't my, have any goodness. My oh goodness. God. Oh my, my goodness. goodness. See, Only you know God. why many say that? Because they pick it up from the society. That's right. Uh -huh. Only God. Mm -hmm. Goodness. So can only be had through oh, the spirit mm -hmm. that is given to you, man. Yes. But the Holy Spirit produces goodness. Yes. So, oh my God. That's the second bell, right? Yes. That's the second bell? Yeah. Uh, uh, what about this? Yeah. It is good to remember. Well, I pray for my wisdom, not the wisdom of the world. That way you know there is God's wisdom. If you, Navigate this world. Put a bell he needs his wisdom. Not everything that he knows, but he has to understand. And to be able to use his word to help you yes. and to help someone else. Not just for the words, not just for you, to help somebody else. That's what, right. Right. That's what prayer is all about. Prayer is showing God that we're dependent. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. Yep. That's why we pray. Yeah. If you're independent, you don't have to pray. Just do what you want to do. Do your own thing. That's what the world. Do your own thing, man. <laughs> That's what he said. All right. But when you're dependent, you show in the Lord that you're dependent. Right. Our Father, yes. who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yes. And then we start our petition. That's right. Yes. That's right. You have to acknowledge him first. You're right? Mm -hmm. Hallowed, holy be thy name. But you're saying, all these gods in this world you uh, are the only you're the, whole, you're the only holy one. That's right. Thank you for Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we're so grateful for your word. And help us, Lord, as we read and study the word that we might imbibe your spiritual wisdom. Help us to so live in this world of wicked, sin cursed. But thank you, Lord, your brothers, thus far through this world. You've been with us uh, from the time of our existence until the present time. Many come and gone. And Lord, we thank you for your grace. We abide in your word. Your word abide in us. Yes. Help us to always state our dependence. Through our prayer, we depend upon you. Yeah. Through our love, we love you first as we also love one another. You've taught us that. Continue to guide us. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Thank you for that message.